Welcome back, leaders, kings and queens. Zachary Gale here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why, when I was 18, I went all in on silver. And just in case if you're wondering what silver looks like, it comes in various different denominations I'll be showing throughout the video of what I own. So, 2017, right? I am 18 years old. I'm currently 21. So, I've been collecting or stacking silver for about uh, three years now. And some of these are going to be repeats because I have uh, some of the same kinds. But, um, so, so I have categorized this into a couple different reasons as to why. The first reason I could identify it was that the value of the dollar is going down. What does that mean, Zach? And whoa, 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 whoa. At any point in time, I say something that you're unsure of what I mean, or you like something that I said, or you would like to see me talk about something more, please leave a comment down below. And also leave a like and a subscribe. This tells the YouTube al al algorithms that uh, real people are watching my videos and puts it out there for more people to enjoy and help. So basically, 1913, right? Before that, we, a little bit before that, we were on the gold standards. And you could go to the bank and you could give them a dollar and they would give you that amount in silver. So between 1913 and now, U.S. dollar has lost approximately 97% or more of its value. So what does that mean, Zach? That basically means that uh, we are working a lot harder than our grandparents and parents were, and we are making a lot less purchasing power wise. And so... Early on, I think I was in about 8th grade, I watched a video, I think it might have been by The Greatest Truth Never Told, I'm not quite sure, but it was basically how our banking system works. And I have a video on my channel explaining how the Fed fractional reserve slash the Federal Reserve sort of operates. So if you would like to go click off on that, I'll have the link up here. But basically, the Federal Reserve controls the monetary policy, they can... And right now, with all this stuff going on, they technically have four tools that are assets. And their biggest tool, cutting interest rates, they're actually out of ammunition for. I'm not going to get a whole lot into the Fed on this video. It's going to be a very general video. Primarily because I don't want to start throwing around terms that people might not necessarily know what they mean or haven't clarified what they mean. And so... One of the important things that I recognize early on is that, one, the dollar has inflation, and two, if you put your money in the bank or whatnot, over time, the amount of interest your money will accumulate, oftentimes is as much as people think it is due to the amount of inflation and uh, prices going up, and then minimum wage impacts this as well, when minimum wage goes up prices of everything goes up. The cost of living is what I'm really getting at. So, the first one, like I said, was that um, the dollar is basically weak. It's fiat currency. There's only two types of currency in the world. You have base currency, which is gold and silver and crypto, even though I don't necessarily believe in crypto. Are merely because it's the people that are trying to, the mega corporations, the Bill Gates, the Soroses, that are trying to implement their philosophies on the rest of the world. Well, that's for another video. So, silver stores its value, meaning that at any point in time, you could sell it at a pawn shop to somebody who is looking for silver, silver dealer. Basically, you can always liquidate this. I look at silver as a basically like a savings account, except for it's an asset that actually appreciates over time, doesn't give you a couple percentage points that are inevitably lost to inflation. So, I, I know I've been throwing a lot of terms around, but 
the second reason why I went all on silver was because of the price. And when I say price, there is a little bit, there's a lot of manipulation in the silver market. And if anybody tells you there's not, they're lying. So how, why, how and why is there a lot of manipulation in the silver market? Well, recently, over a billion ounces of silver were dumped in the market and dropped the price about $2. Recently, the amount that mines were mining silver for and selling it for was actually zero. They weren't profiting. So a lot of silver mines went bankrupt. And a lot of silver is actually not mined through silver mining because a lot of silver mines have gone bankrupt. Most of it's through uh lead slash zinc and also gold and other various forms only about like 30 ish percent uh in course year over year this is different is from actual silver mining so you ask uh what does the value of silver have to do with why i went all in on silver did you get it for a good price is that around them so it was around like 17 to 18 dollars at the time and currently live the date's august 17th and it's currently 1 uh 13 p.m and as you can see the price is currently at 27.42 and you can this is a daily chart which is there so there's up here and it was down here just a few weeks ago so currently it's 27. And also, if you're looking to buy silver, a lot of silver comes with a premium, which basically means the price of an ounce is what it costs to make it. But then if you want to buy it, there's a premium to actually get that silver into your hand. So the if you look at the U.S. debt clock on the bottom right corner, you can see the true price of silver. Now... Me and a lot of silver stackers as well are always wondering why this isn't the true price. Because also there's the gold to silver ratio. It, right now the gold to silver ratio is about one ounce of gold for about 72-ish uh, rounds of silver. Historically, um, around when depressions or economic turmoil happens, like what we're sort of building up to now with all this... Um, relief and quantitative easing the fed is injecting into the market into a bubble sorry but uh the the fed is uh the price of silver doesn't actually represent what it actually is because silver is actually i don't know how many times more valuable than gold not valuable rare than gold silver is actually more rare than gold but yet it's worth less. Silver has over a thousand industrial uses, probably more than that, but, and most of the silver usage in the world actually goes to industrial, and a lot of it doesn't get recycled. A lot of it just gets single used, and then it's gone forever. Got some dimes. These are 90% silver. 1960 before 1964 uh nickel not nickels excuse me quarters and dimes uh were 90 percent silver so we'll check your coins and an another reason so the second one was the gold to silver ratio slash the true price of silver which by the way it is four thousand one hundred and $25 last time I checked. I'll have a video on screen of what it is when I'm editing this video. And in recent months, with uh, the whole state of affairs in the world, it actually has quadrupled the, the true price of silver. And so not only is the price wrong for what this metal is actually worth, not only is there less of this metal than gold, which is over $2,000 an ounce right now, the amount of assets out there that actually preserve your wealth and don't 
and that you can still use as tender because some of the some of my stack like these dimes like i could use as dimes the only bad part is uh people don't realize that they have silver i've probably done this when i was younger too just lack of overall information but basically when the, the federal reserve in 1913 was established they issued a fiat currency the u.s dollar that before that you were able to go to the bank and withdraw silver or gold so basically what the federal reserve which is Rothschild, Rothschild controlled the Rothschild family look into them it is Rothschild owned they not only issued and made it illegal for people to have gold certificates as well as silver certificates in I believe the 30s so that way they could give them this debt based system that not only are we taxed on which they can spend to oblivion and print to oblivion and basically they were stealing our silver it was the it was the biggest heist in all of history and it's not really talked about when they stole our reserves of silver and gold and the federal reserve was actually unconstitutional for over a hundred years by many supreme court cases and there's many types of silver many objects household objects they can find at maybe garage sales or estate sales that are probably older homes uh have items that have silver and so be on the lookout i will have more videos on how to identify what silver is how to tell real silver from fake silver also i'm going to this is going to be the first of a sort of series on my self-sufficiency uh slash ways to earn because not only is silver an asset a way to save but it's a way to really take control of your investments and your and it's a great way to become disciplined because if you can have the discipline to not spend, let's say, all right, so so spot price for a silver eagle is about two to three dollars, depending on who you get it from. So this coin right here, sorry, I don't have a lot. This coin right here, so both of these coins right are worth about like thirty dollars or more. The spot price is constantly moving, right? So, if I wanted to save $30, I could just invest it in silver. And a year from now, it would most likely be worth more than $30. And when you go to sell it, you oftentimes can sell for more than the premium if it's, if it's a certain year or whatever. The main thing is, is that silver... The main the main points, the reasons why I decided to go all in on silver and still do, is one, it's it's a safe storage of value. I don't really believe in a savings account. I'd rather have my money invested and not making the bank a crap ton of money while they give me pennies on the dollar, which is ultimately lost to inflation. I would rather have my money making money for me, sort of that investor mindset from the uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad uh, book series. Um, two, the dollar, the gold to silver ratio, as well as the dollar weakening, and some of these points kind of intermix because they are all ultimately a decision as to why I did it. And then the third one was the true price of silver, as well as silver has always historically been a currency and always will be, and fiat currency is just an illusion that is just going to come up one day, and silver is way more rare than gold and it's way way cheaper than gold i and so if you got any sort of value out of this video please one leave a comment please just leave a comment whether or not you liked it it tells me that if, please correct me if i said something that was wrong or whatever because i want to make sure i'm only putting out relevant information and the best for everybody so please make sure you keep, always keep me in uh in shape and uh correct me what i'm wrong or say like Oh, I like the video or whatever, however you're feeling. Please do that, and then please leave a like if you liked it, and comment if you found anything helpful, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, yeah. great day. Peace.